Hello, my name is Travis Baylitz, and this is a question for Dave Watson, registered piano technician of Minnesota. Um, basically, I have one question regarding the removal of an action. I seem to be having some regulating issues, and to be bluntly honest, beforehand, I've been, I know you actually went through the Randy Potter schooling yourself, but I am having some issues. I wanted to take some time and try to read through all this stuff, and um, due to some other um, plans that have come up in life, I believe now that I'm ready to kind of ask some questions where I feel that I'm a little bit more comfortable um, trying to do it through film. I got to be honest with you, I'm not a very good tuner and I'm still not. I've had issues trying to hear beats and every time that I stick a tuning mute in the left or right string when it comes to unisons, I seem to be having issues. Now Dave Schwartz, I've also had a meeting one time or a teaching lesson with a fellow named Dave Watson um, but he charged me like for three hours sixty bucks plus a thirty dollar transportation expense which ended up being two hundred ten dollars for teaching me how to strip mute um, teach me how to do some unison tuning and to be honest with you, just reading through this without any expertise from someone who is experienced, I find it a little troublesome, but um, I'm not quite sure if I want to pay $210 again just for a three-hour session when I feel that um, perhaps it's a little too pricey for me at the moment and maybe an hour session here and there where I feel like I'm ready to tune, I might be able to um, go at a pace where I feel that I'm more comfortable doing now Dave Schwartz, as I said, because I was having issues trying to tune, I just totally tore the piano apart. I got the action here, the action model there, I got the music desk there. Um, I took, also took apart the uh, front stop rail, or the key stop rail, the key slip, and the fall board, and the... Um, the lower front board and I also clean the keys under here we got a decent key bed and I think I just wanted to take a look at what the system would look like while I tore everything apart because primarily I was having some issues tuning again but then I came across to seeing wow there's a set of tools that Randy Potter has talked about but it seems to be going over my head now I do know that it could possibly mean I'm just in, in an experienced tuner, not as impatient as I should be and not remembering um, the things as well as I should do to other things that have come up in life. Um, I've tried a few other things that I wanted to try to train for, but it seemed to not go the way I wanted it to. So right now, let's get forward. I just want to explain to you that I have a rough idea of what an action model is or, a, or an action we got the key here, the front front key, um, or the yeah the front key uh, pin. Yeah, the f is it the front yeah yeah the front key pin, and then we got the front keyhole punching, and then we got the front rail, the balance rail, the back rail felt, and then the um, balance rail pin, and we got the cap stand, and then we got the key lead, the whipping, um, the whipping flange, the jack, the jack flange, the jack spring, the lead off right there, and then we got the regulation button with the felt, we got the, um, then we got the, uh, hold on a second, trying to think of it, ah, shoot, and we got the back check that meets up to the, um, back check that meets up to whatever, I can't remember right now, but then we got the 
hammer butt, hammer shank, hammer main rail, um, hammer rail, damper, damper wire, damper lever, damper spring, hammer butt spring, and also, I'm forgetting this right now, I'm gonna, um, basically the model, I know that's a back rail and that meets up to the, or the back check, back check, wire, the, um, what the heck is this called, this is the, sorry, I'm also trying to remember and study the, the, the structure and terminology, so I'm having some difficulties just trying to do it on camera, I know I, I have this in my head, um, but I'm going to have to review it quick, please, so I know that we have um, God, I'm trying to, I'm, uh, this has crossed my mind, these two parts have crossed my mind, I know this is the, um, back check, oh, shoot, you know what, I, mean, I have a manual here, and I'm trying to go through it quick, so I've been trying to study it up myself, and we got through 10, which is the catcher, so back check, Meets the catcher, back check sh shank, or catcher shank, and then what was I also thinking about, um, back check and catcher, okay, those are the two ones that I'm having trouble remembering, and also, now I have it, the bridal strap, so, now that I have an idea of what I did, I took it off from the action post, the, I mean, I think these are the action posts and the action nuts of some sort. I can't. Let me double check so I can give you the right terminal. Uh, the action nut and then the action bolt. Action nut, action bolt. I took those off. Once again, I want to say this is an Everett. It's two, two, three, five, eight, nine. I know there are two, two, three, five, eight, six. I know that's an Everett piano, and. Like I said, I immediately decided to go and strip everything apart just to see what everything looks like. We got the bass, the treble, tuning pins, the pressure bar, the V-bar. I mean, I have an idea of what everything is at right now. I've been doing this since February, trying to study all this back and forth. Um, but, you know, it's, I'm having difficulty without the hands-on knowledge from someone that might be able to instruct me, so I thought I'd try to make this video. Anyhow, before I put this action back in its place, um, and on the dowels for the the pedal, the soft, the I think we got a base sustain pedal there, and also the sustaining pedal. So I'm having issues with some clicking. If you hear that, and then you hear how that's more dampened, but you hear a clicking. I marked several clicking here, so. And that clicks there, and I'm giving it about the same amount of pressure. There's certain ones that have clicking, and I can't seem to figure out how to regulate it. Now, I don't know if I have to take away this hammer rail, and I know the hammer falls fine. I think there's something between the catcher, or I mean the jack, maybe the, um, the, the jack buck skin, or between where the catch or the back check meets the catcher and the bridle strap but everything seems to be looking regulated fairly well so I don't know what the heck the problem is I just trying to figure out how to reduce this clicking and I have all these tools here I know this is for um, the back check wire and also for the um, which I mean the back check which meets the catcher. So I understand that there is a key drop, I mean there's a hammer blow, key drop, let off, and then also, um, I think it's the, uh, um, okay there's, I'm tr sorry I'm trying to remember all the stuff that Randy Potter has seen in his videos. So there's hammer blow, let off, drop, and then key dip. So those are the four things I know. And I know the action here, but the, I'm having problems trying to fix this regulation. I don't know how to, how to tear any of this apart. I don't know if I need to take off this hammer rail. So I'm asking you, um, 
I'm asking you, Clay Schwartz, if you could maybe give me some tips. I am kind of looking forward to just trying to push myself forward in in this study. And the reason why I haven't called Dave Watson back is because I haven't actually been tuning. I've also I've been kind of focusing all this reading, but I'm at the point right now if I'm trying to sell myself, reading isn't going to do much and making money. It's actually learning the material and Reading the material is so much different than actually doing the material, and I'm having issues with that. My name is Travis Baylitz. You can reach me at 651-491-8440. I've talked to you maybe in June or July. But um, I, w I thought I wanted to do this part-time for a while. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I've got into repairing, regulating, hammer shaping, but... It's all still over my head. I mean, it, it'd be so much easier just to be taught the lot of it with someone. I mean, Randy Potter has also this apprentice book for someone to actually go through this with me. And it would be great if I could find someone that maybe experienced. I know Dave Schwartz, um, we haven't really talked too much through email. But I have met up with Dave Watson, and he's probably going to charge a little bit more and I don't I know he's the head of Red Wings PTG meeting and I recently got a PTG um, although I am part of the PTG guild I decided to not pay the 625 because I wanted to make sure that I have not even tuned one piano yet well I got through five I'm starting on the fifth shipment because I feel I am not experienced enough where I can charge 90 or nine or a hundred because I did a business survey and it seemed to be the average was like ninety to a hundred hundred the medium was like ninety four way back earlier in June and July um, I did a lot of dusting cleaning but I'm trying to figure out the lot which is basic tuning um, so I know that's just a personal thing I know there's beats I'm trying to hear the up the the softs and louds I'm trying to hear that. I understand the unisons and stuff, but I'm having issues. I know when I hold the damper, when I mute it, I'm having issues with that. Um, so I think that just takes practice and patience, which is something I'm trying to do at the moment. But if you could just uh, reply back to me, I'm going to be loading this video on Bayless Piano Service. So please reply back. It's... Um, either through my email, m-a-n-h-o-p-a-r-k at hotmail.com. Again, m-a-n-h-o-p-a-r-k at hotmail.com. And, or 651-491-8440. I thought I'd just send this email since the visual is a lot easier than through talking on the phone. So, I mean, the action, the bass, soundboard. I don't know. The soundboard seems to be all right. Tuning pins seem to be all right. It did look like I had some crack keys somewhere but it seemed like they got repaired by this fellow named Jeff he's been tuning it since 1987 and since I thought I want to be my own tuner I thought I tried to learn it myself but anyway um, please um, contact me I took everything apart in hopes that I can just try to fix and regulate these clicking noises once again dull click loud click 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 and I there's a more than a few clicks I don't know how to get in there I don't know if it's a bridle strap I don't know if it's a spring I don't know if it's a jack I don't know if it's a let off button that needs to be regulated I don't know if it's the if it's maybe the buckskins getting loose on the the butt of the hammer or the shank so I'm pretty sure it's not I don't know if it's like touching against this hammer rail or because even when I just go so soft or you can hear it like kind of click and I don't understand so it's on the let off that when it drops back there seems to be an issue I don't know I, this spring looks fine if you look in there the spring itself looks um, fine so um, at least on the the butt spring and I'm pretty sure the catcher when it meets the the um, butt check or the, or the, yeah, the, um, actually the back check meets the catcher. Everything seems to be okay, hammer shank, but I can't really see in there to really see if there's issues with the main rail or something, and I'm having issues. So, like I said, I just want to describe this because I know I have 
a decent knowledge of it. I'm just having issues trying to fix and regulate the things that I really wanted to get regulated. I know I should probably be focusing on tuning, but this is kind of what's bugging me now. All right. Thank you.